Hey guys, Sausage here. And of course you're Meatball. And welcome to the original Rayman. That's 1995, children. On the PS1. Yeah, we're on PS4 now. That's such a long time ago. It is, isn't it? I mean, it, it, you don't seem to realise that 95, what, 2015, 95 was 20 years ago. So this game is 21 years old. I would be... So 21 off of your age would make you about in your teens. 15? Yeah, you'd have been in your teens. I would have been... Ooh, <laughs> here's one. And you're like I'm, I'm 26, so I would have been five. <laughs> I would have been five years old when this game was launched. There you go. <laughs> so there's that for you. And we had <clears throat> memory cards back in the day and passwords to access stuff. And, and bars. And bar. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That was just. It was good. trying to be a cheap. I was just trying to see if the game actually would work properly. It's awesome. I love this game. Absolutely love it. This was the second game I ever played. Ever. Yes, I I, I think I played it like once or twice, and I never really got into it. Uh, platformers. You never again, really like platformers. Again, when I was younger, it was RPGs yeah. and um, and football games, uh, which hasn't really changed to be honest. Yeah. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> that guy there's the bad guy. Which you kind of would have gathered. At the it. end, bad guy. The, yeah, the, the main, final, final guy. Yes. The main uh, antagonist. Thank you. He's the protagonist. That's the one. Yeah. Always Rayman's the protagonist. Up. Yeah, I always kind of get that mixed up. But this is where Rayman began. This was the very first ever Rayman. And um, What is the latest Rayman? It's on the Wii U, I think, isn't it? Yeah, the latest Rayman. They've gone for way more like Cell Shed style yeah. stuff and whatnot. I love this because this was released on the Game Boy Advance as well called Rayman Advance. It's yes. also available on a PS Vita and all sorts of stuff. It's probably even available in the PS3 store. That was an extra life. Awesome. That gives you extra a... health. Oh, ah, okay. Gives I was you... going to say power, but it's not power, is it? No, no, no. But uh, Rayman 2 is probably my favourite Rayman, The Great Escape. I only, only played it on the Dreamcast, and I love the Dreamcast version, because they introduce a race called yeah. the, the Glowbox. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, people probably know who Glowbox is by now. If they love Rayman, it's the blue dude. But you actually got to go to a place called Glowbox Village, mm. where you saw lots of Glowbox people, like loads of them, and I just love that. And you screamed and uh, nerdgasmed. Yeah, there we go. Extra life. See, I know all the secrets. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I can't actually do anything but climb, because you can punch later in the game. Oh, punch, punch. Yeah. I love those little what was that from? Uh, pa Rapper the Rapper. Punch! Oh, yeah, we do, we've got to do a Rapper the Rapper. So oh. we managed to uh, get the PS1 working, so that's going to be fun. This is a bonus game. I can't remember what you do here. Ten things, was that? Yeah, bouncy bouncy. Is it? Oh no, oh gosh. Oh. That's three. I can't remember what you get. I think he just gives you extra. Four. Oh, thank you. Well, uh, uh, Five, six, uh, come on, come on, sausage. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! Help perfect. Perfect. perfect! It's like perfection. So yeah, th these were cool. So you'll you'll see things uh, appear like Crash Bandicoot, and you'll see things like Spyro, and they're the ones I enjoyed. You'll also see stuff that Meatball enjoyed on the PS1 as well. So stuff like that. Yay! <laughs> Yay, everyone! Uh, the way you get up there is you get a hang ability, so you can just hang. But you need to just skip everything Ooh. now. Because you can't actually kill it. They're, they're dark So you're not Mario then, are you? No, you can't no. jump on them. Because jumping on them actually hurts you. Uh, you just need to keep going. And this is the only level in the game, I believe. Oh, take a picture. Checkpoint! Remember games when they had checkpoints, kids? No, no, because they auto save now, don't they? <laughs> God, this is what I miss from gaming. I really do. Like these little things. Like, oh. Yeah, you can free those. You miss things like checkpoints and passwords to get your save games and stuff. You can punch the plum and it goes in the water so you can cross the water. <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, I love this game. It's awesome. It's got sparkly teeth. Sparkly teeth. Uh, there is a level in it that I really hate. You ride the back of a mosquito. Hello. Hello, Rayman. I'm Batilla the Fairy. I'm going to help you in your quest. I can give you a new power. Thank you. This is where she spits at you. Oh, right. Now you can punch Lovely. your fist. Good luck. Punch her in the face. Why? Punch her in the face. Press that button to punch her in the face. Punch her in the face. And if you hold it... Oh, lovely sound effect there. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, oh. That's how you get up. Yeah. Oh, Ta-da! 
Smiley face. Ting. <laughs> Good advert for uh, cleaning your teeth there, children. Yes, yeah, so make sure you, like, you can only get up there if you hang. Actually, no. You have the plum. You plum bum. There you go. That's actually plum bum. Yes. You do know that that's the actual official term for lead, yeah. I'm not that thick. La la! Yay! Oh, there's smiley, there's loads yeah. of smiley faces, isn't there? Yeah, well, this is a this game way. aimed for kids, I suppose. But I think, like, the 90s. The but they're drowning shot. now. No, they're not drowning. They look like the early 90s, in my opinion, was probably the uh, best era for gaming. Because they really started to... Crumbs, I remember I was supposed to do that. Uh, they hate... I hate those. Because they duck. <laughs> crack, crack. No, if you if they see that you're swinging your fist, they'll duck, and your fist will go sailing above them. But yeah, the early 90s for games was like, you had Final Fantasy coming out. Oh, yeah. You had these sort of games coming out, Spiral coming out. It's when they first really started getting into 3D. 3D. Or yes. proper, actual, like, full-on games, like this sort of calibre. It's when things started to get really interested, and they tested the waters and stuff. I really like that. Dancing! Everyone do that dance! Then it was on those black <laughs> CDs, if you remember. Yeah, on the, yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. The, 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 the solid black bass ones that just scratch like a bitch. Yeah, yeah. so I remember. Because I had to look after them. I had to um, say no to the people. Because I used to work in um, a, a computer game shop. That's do, how I get to Do you to remember know. how rare the game Tomba was? Yes. The pink-haired guy. When you got it in, it was like 20 quid trade-in, regardless of when you traded it. Oh, there was quite a few different rare games. Yeah, yeah like, um... Oh, I can't get that one. Uh, there was also, um... What is it? Discworld. Discworld yeah. was another rare one. By the Terry Pratchett guy. It was a point-and-click adventure. That was Discworld in the Wire, I think. It was the most expensive one. Yeah, Discworld in the Wire. I have not played that. I played the. Well, you I, can now. I, I played a bit of the original Disc World. Yes. Like it was a demo I had. Do you remember that? Do you, I, don't, I don't know if kids are remembering now, but you remember that, kids? What, the, demos? The, the, those who are old enough, do you remember demos on discs with magazines? Oh, and you get them for free. Yeah. Yeah, free demos on discs with magazines. Actually, you, you get demos for free still, don't you? Yeah, you can still get demos for free. I'm not but, that, uh... but, but no, but EA do charge sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, EA charge you five quid sometimes to play a demo. I'm not kidding. There are some games that you are charged for. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That is atrocious. I know. What? <laughs> Remember that, kids? When you had to have skill to play a game, it wasn't just, yeah, let's just get to the end because of how linear it was. Or, um, uh, microtransactions to, oh, yeah, you <laughs> to had... open up characters. Yeah, and, and stuff like that. What? Leave me alone. Here. We do sound like old people, though. We, we? we aren't, though. We're, 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 just, we're just in a generation <laughs> yeah. that enjoyed real games. I mean, kids these days that are raised with microtransactions and stuff, they consider it the norm. norm. Yes. But it wasn't the norm, guys. Don't be fooled. It was never normal for us to have to pay Micro to unlock shit. Microtransactions are the devil as well. They, they are. <laughs> because you buy a game, or you get a game for free, and a subpar game at best, let's be honest, they're usually just subpar, terrible things, and then the currency for it is, oh, you've got to pay so you can unlock the golden or something, I'm not going to get that, the golden dragon or some shite like that. Yeah, but also, when a game's released, the game is released. Yeah, you don't have to worry about things like DLC, DLC, patches. The reason you don't have to worry about patches back in the day is they usually took a lot longer for second. They usually took a lot longer to develop it. But there so, was bugs, obviously. Yeah, there was clearly bugs, because there's glitches and stuff for speedruns. I ain't doing that again. It's just life. Um, well, you've got plenty of life. But yeah, there's clearly glitches and stuff that you can take advantage of. I'm not trying to say that they were all completely flawless. Oh, they weren't. Certainly they weren't. Certainly weren't. But they knew that. They knew they weren't flawless, which is what I liked about it. Yeah, I need to go down there first. I don't need the extra life. I'm really, I'm really not going to probably play this again after this. <laughs> Boink. And boink. Yay! So we do have to rerun this again to get all of the those things. Yeah. All right. But I won't. I won't rerun a, it. Again. A complete. A complete. Yeah. If you want to complete everything. Mm. But yeah. So a DLC was very much frowned upon when we first found out because people didn't like the idea of having to pay as a save. Yeah. People didn't like the idea of having to pay to get extra content for your game. Mm. And it, it would seem very bizarre. Because now at the moment there are. They're about 20 quid, aren't they? DLCs, DLCs. are really expensive. These and, days, and, you know, 20 quid, you can get a game on Steam. 
Yeah. And, <laughs> and usually the DLCs are what? Like uh, an extra life or something, you know, or... Um, yeah, it's just... Or a costume pack. Or one or one quest. For yeah. Your, um, you know, it's... You know, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I died. Oh, you actually died. Well <laughs> You can't actually swim in this game. He isn't actually invisible. Invincible. No, sorry. I'm not invincible. I'm just pretty skilled because I played it as a kid. So. Yeah, but you played it as a kid. Yeah, I played it as a kid, but I have played it since then, of course. Have you? Yeah, on the Game Boy Advance. I've said it was released on the Game Boy Advance. So I played it when I was like early teens. Exactly. Yeah. And the same guy just owns. So that's me. what, 13 years ago, or something. Yeah, but in all fairness, platformers these days are absolutely nails. Super Meat Boy being an obvious yeah, one. Yeah, true. You see what I'm saying? Like even Minecraft parkour is just nails half the time. You see, I stay away from this kind of. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like slow games. Yeah. Right? Good. good. No. Oh. Okay, I'm just not gonna go for him because he just owns my face every time. I know that's like teensies down there. I need to save, but sod on. Yeah, so I go hey, for like right. games like Divinity, Original Sin. Ah, uh, we like that. Um, That's what we're currently playing. That is, yeah, we're, what, about 30 hours? And... <laughs> 30 hours and even out sight seal. <laughs> <laughs> Just love that. We're still waiting to uh, solve the murder case. <laughs> yeah. Well, we kind of solved it, we kind of know who it is. I know, I know, but we haven't But we solved... haven't actually solved it in terms of quest-wise, so yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> so that's yeah. the, the speed yes. of what I like. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Almost a standstill. Yeah, slow paced games are good, but you, there has to be some progression. De oh, definitely. Yeah. There's that one. Yeah. It's, it's still blooming difficult. <laughs> and I'm not trying to say it's not difficult, but Jeez. Uh, nowadays, uh, games, they're, 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 they're either in two brackets. They're either insanely hard mm. or far too easy and linear that they hold your hand the whole way. And that's the thing that really bugs me. Ah, uh, there's the boss. Balls, I forgot this. That's the mosquito who we actually have to oh, ride at the end of this. Alright. He's held in the bottom corner, guys. Yeah! <laughs> the next level is actually kind of hard. Yeah. Oh, well done. I actually couldn't beat this as a kid, so there's spoilers for you. This boss... I never got the. I never understood as a kid. My brain wasn't really functioning that well. I was like six, seven when I played this. It didn't realise that bosses had attack patterns. Like back nowadays, I know bosses have attack patterns. You learn them, you can beat them easily. But then I didn't realise. Like he just bans the same sort of thing. And yeah, there we go. Now, we, now he's my friend. Is he? Yeah. Now, now I, you beat him up. He's like, <laughs> like a bully. Yeah, I've just pacified him. Oh. No. And now that you feel sorry for him. Well, you will do. He's crying. Yeah. Oh. Oh, pat your eyeballs. Yay! Rayman. Best friends. <laughs> they actually have a language specifically to Rayman. Do they? Yeah, called Raymanian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is so annoying. But this level, once I eventually got here, I never, ever, ever got past. It's just absolutely nails. <laughs> I mean, I have done it now. I have done it since. Like. I have gotten past this because I've got to the next world, which is like musical instruments and some of the It's really cool, the musical instruments. Eh, go away. Go away. I wanted the power fist. I you got too many fists. No, I ain't got enough fists. Uh, you can go fast, but I... Oh, no! Good reaction, not good reaction. I like good reaction into bad reaction, and it speeds up. Now, the key to these sort of uh, levels, guys... If it's you've, dodge. If, no, if you've ever played a sort of level like this, uh, in the... There's your speed thing. If you've ever played anything like this, don't look at your guy, look slightly at the road ahead. Pro tip for, like, Mario Kart and shit Oh, my like God! That. Yeah. You need to look at... There you go, because I couldn't do that as a kid before. Awesome, I too. But you need to look at the road ahead of you, don't look at your person, because you need to be prepared to how they move. Yes. But, yeah, so... Uh, I think this is where I get another ability, but I'll, I think we're going to Oh, here's uh, Patilda again. Whatever yeah, yeah, she's going to spit at us yet again. Dirty move. Tell you what, you just... <laughs> <laughs> you just got rid of the, rid of the uh, other spit. Yeah, you know, we just I don't know. What was that? That was hang, wasn't it? Yeah, now I can hang, you see. Ah. So, considering I can now hang on to levels... If I you can... go back, though. You can, you can go back, and now you've got the ability to hang and punch. You can finish the first two circles that we've done. So so these, this one here and this one here, we can actually now complete. So what do you get with them? Uh, once you when unlock, you unlock the... I yeah, don't know. That is horrible. That is the level where you have to rush. 
forgot for them. So. Uh, you have to rush with that one. So I'll, sh- I'll just quickly show you, and then we'll just end the episode. But you have to rush with this. Now, for the longest of time, I was stuck here, not knowing what you needed to do. This guy is clearly pointing at that there, but I didn't know how you got it. Like, I was like, what do you do? What do you do? What right. do you do? All you need to do is punch it. And he puts his clothes on, and he gives you a magic bee. So how did he get naked? I don't know how he got naked. It doesn't explain, but there you go. His name is Torrezan. Aha. Uh-huh. Torrezan. Aha. Uh-huh. He's a raisin. So, I think I can... There you go, look. Now, uh, the this is sort of it. Flipped. So, yeah, this is why I don't like this level. But anyway, so this is uh, Rayman. Just on... a short look, basically. Yeah, just, this is just a little look at Rayman. You can get it on multiple things, and it's even on the PC. So, and you're like, yeah. no, no. I will not die. Because Rayman can't swim. Out of the way. Oh, you got me again. No, you didn't. Ah. But yeah, so <laughs> yeah, so um, thank you very much for watching. I have been sausage. <laughs> That's been me, Bob. And this has been the original Rayman. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye. On the PS One. PS One. Yes. Bye. <laughs> 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 uh.